like most good artists, we are going to plan for our double pinch pot animals. And that means get your sketchbooks out. Hello, my talented artists. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe. Open up your sketchbooks to a blank double page spread and you are going to always use a pencil because um, when you use a marker, it bleeds through. I'm gonna use a pen so that you can see it. And I want you to write planning double pinch pot animal. And then, once you've done that, I want you to draw four circles or ovals. And make sure you leave a little room all around each circle so that you can draw details that you wanna add. Now, when you were talking about Planning for a sculpture, you have to think about all the sides of a sculpture. We are just gonna look at the front and the back because we are beginning artists. So I want you to label front and back on both of them. So this side is one sculpture and this page is one sculpture. And what I want you to do is just do two ideas. You actually don't even need to stick with these ideas. This might just get your creative juices flowing, but we are going to do it in the chibi style. So turn the page and I want you to write somewhere chibi style. In a moment, we are going to pause your planning to follow a tutorial to draw a chibi animal. So I'm gonna give you about five minutes and you can draw your sketches for two ideas for the double pinch pot sculpture. And just remember that this sphere is the body and the head. We're not having a neck, we're not having separate head and body, it's all in the one sphere. Keep it simple. I want you to think of that this top pinch pot, remember it's two pinch pots that we're gonna put together. This top pinch pot should be where you put the face. So put the nose up high close to the eyes and the mouth. And then on the bottom pinch pot, there should be no face part, okay? Now, this is the back of the same sculpture. So it can be a real animal, it can be a pretend animal. Let's say I want this to be a panda. I kind of forget how the markings of a panda are. I forget, does it go like that? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, maybe this black. So I'm just sketching it in, I'm just getting an idea. Actually, it's not a panda. It's my own made up animal. And then maybe on the back, I might add a tail. And I, I'm just going to represent that by a little circle. So that would be either I could do a pinch pot, a teeny tiny pinch pot tail. Or I could just do a solid sphere of clay. If you're gonna do anything solid, it really shouldn't be thicker than your thumb. So anything thicker than your thumb needs to be hollow inside. And there's an important thing, if you make an air bubble, if you're gonna attach a pinch pot to here, before you attach it, you would need to create a hole so that it doesn't break off because um, if you have an air bubble in clay, when you fire it in the kiln, it will break. So, of course, when you have these mini pinch pots, you could change the shape. Maybe maybe I'll do an owl. 
So they could be pointy. This could be sort of a feathery texture. I can add on, I can carve into it. And then I could always just carve in for wings. And for the beak, I could make another pinch pot and shape it into a cone-like shape like that. And then sort of add that little sketchy line. And I could carve a little mouth. And now I'm gonna sketch the back. Maybe it, oh, maybe it has a little tail. So this is the front of an owl, the back of an owl, the front of a panda, the back of a panda. If you are choosing something that has a long, thin tail, thin-ish tail like a cat or a tiger or, or something like that, my advice is to attach a long, skinny tail all along, curving along the body, like in this example, and at the minimum, you need to attach it at two places. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So here is my sketch of the back of a cat. You would, we're gonna attach it, of course, to the body, but then it needs some place else to attach. So let's say it curves around to the front. And if the tail is touching the body, like in my sketch here, you should attach it all the way along the body. You cannot have a tail that sticks out like that because it will break off easy. So here's the front and the back of my cat. It's time to do your planning sketches for your double pinch pot animal on these pages. We're gonna time it to about five minutes. If you don't finish, that's quite all right. You'll be thinking about what you wanna do. After the five minutes done, you're gonna follow a tutorial for a chibi style drawing. And after you do that, come back together as a class and figure out how you would transfer your chibi style drawing into one of these pinch pot animals where the head and the body are one sphere. Can't wait to see what you do. Mm -hmm.